Well, well, it's the big show. Okay, my tablet's being a butt. Welcome, one and all. Navigator EX here. And when my tablet decides to wake the hell up, it will be Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus. Now, while I'm... Damn it. Jump to live, please. Thank you, that'd be great. While I'm getting this shit together... Um, yeah, I want to show something a little... It's like the kind of thing you never think about in a game, really, until you have it. Here, I'm going to press the down button. Down, let it run. Down, let it run. And it just stops at the bottom. And it's the same when you go up. Looping menus are a... quality of life thing that I think get, get taken for granted far too often. Eh? Come on. There we go. Now my tablet has stopped being dumb. And, um... I'm glad to see this game has them. I mean, even though this is like a three-item menu, whatever, don't care. Uh... <laughs> that's not the uh, important thing. The important thing is that someone in their design team decided, hey, do that. We do that thing. So I'm gonna have to check that out on other later menus, because that's... really good. Also, I didn't realize I hadn't put this in 4.3 yet. Uh Now, I should probably start the game, but I'm in this whole effort we're doing it live uh mindset one moment. Uh Which I'll have to tweak this at some point off screen. Uh Let's see. Where is it at? Elgato. Properties. Oh no, that's the, not the wrong thing. The hell just happened. Okay, I'm not seeing anything on my screen now. What the hell? Okay, so the Elgato seems to be having a stroke. Gotcha. Elgato, please behave. Okay. Where's the. Alright. Transform. Edit transform. Okay, now. Uh. See what. Oh, 1920. Now, what is 1080 divided by 3? I should be able to do this in my head, so that's going to be, I think, 1440 vertically. So let's... This is, might look funky for a second. <sighs> okay. So. Now, now to center this thing, it's going to be... So, start this at 240 pixels over. And there we go. That's pretty now. I mean, it's a big stupid box right now. It's, it's this tiny little letter box on all sides, but it's at least not horribly stretched out of proportion. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to work on that in the future. But, hey, that was going to bug me until I actually remember to do it. So... F it, we're doing it live. Ah! Uh, ah, here we go. And... He was hoping you're doing well out there in internet land, party people. While I get Dirge of Cerberus actually fired up. Because I've been itching to play this for a little bit since yesterday. Oh, that is kind of ugly. That big old box. <laughs> Welcome, Altison, and no third impact, please. Uh... Matter of fact, now that this is been sorted. I'm going to hop back over the normal layout. Oh, boy. So here's hoping you all are doing well while I get in on the game proper. Where's the... All right, X button. Hmm. Oh, shit. Don't tell me. Trying to 
to figure out how to set up a 100% legit PS1 for your PC. Mmm. Trying to think of a anything to add to that. My brain is just quitting on me for some reason. Okay, so it looks like I may have forgotten to save last week. Because temp saves are a thing. Yes, I know exactly what you're referring to. I'm trying to think of a good answer on how to set up your perfectly legit uh, PS1, but those answers, should I think of them, will come off screen. Um, oh boy, I totally forgot to save. Shit. Okay, where's the latest save? These are all dated 2000 because I keep forgetting the uh, battery in my PS2 seems to be dead. The save battery's just gone. Uh, let's see. So I guess this is the latest save. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to save. I can totally believe I forgot to save. It's a thing. Oh, god. Alrighty. Updating the system clock. It only matters to me when getting saves organized, because if the clock keeps resetting and it keeps putting the old... Um... Where's the temp save? It keeps saying... Tim save data be be lost, but okay. But nah, nah, hell. Okay, the only reason it even matters to me to have that is uh, for save purposes and making sure which one's the latest save. Other than that, it doesn't affect the functionality of the save, so if I remember where I am, then I'm usually good. But it doesn't matter where I was, because I'm way back now, because I done goofed. Great. Great. Guess I'll just have to do it better this time. Oh, boy. That's always a great feeling, losing an entire week of progress. Okay. Extra micro USB cable to get your PS4 controller working on your... Your, your totally legit PS1. Yeah, the, the micro USB adapter, which is totally a thing. <laughs> I'll stop bullshitting him, and I promise. Okay. Oh, this is embarrassing. Every time it happens. Okay. Uh, there's a lock button. I know there is. Oh, here we go. Okay. Remember how to shoot. Okay. It would be kind of cool, though, in all honesty, to see uh, more adapters for using modern controllers on retro consoles instead of just vice versa you always see you always see vice versa okay uh hmm okay wrong button oh right with circle circle is melee okay thank you thank you game Potion, handgun bullets, so I don't run out of ammo this time. Is there a materia, sir? Uh, no. Uh, uh, materia. MP circle. Okay, that was the thing I was looking for. Uh. Okay. Lean over, you damn airship thing. All right. Yeah, this is definitely going down a little bit faster. Okay. Okay. Uh. One, two, three. There we go. Potions. Tekoki Mikazuki demo. Okay. Oh. I might have to look that up sometime. Oh, boy. Okay, that went a little better than last time. Ah, thought I could get some more potions out of that. Oh, boy. I'm just going to skip cutscenes because I've already been through these. Um, Before booting this up, though, I was uh, firing my PS2. Uh, I hadn't taken Rad out yesterday. Let's see. Ooh, A-Rank. Nice. 
And I didn't notice, apparently, or I'd forgotten either one, I'm not sure. Um, so Rad has a thing in the beginning that, um, has a, the, the, uh, it's a standard blurb. You see this in a lot of things, but the, uh, oh God, how to put it? The coffee's not kicking in yet. It's, I had it a little, little late, not crazy late this time. Add EXP, there, go EXP. Um, the following work is fiction. Any similarities, that blurb. It had that blurb in a game about giant robots, fist fighting alien giant robots in the hands of a Japanese school kid. I mean, it's, it's good to know that they're that committed to the bit. <laughs> I love that, though. Okay. Let's see. Buy what we got. Okay. Make sure that anything I buy is not already in my inventory, which will sort of make up uh, for last week, though, buying one thing I didn't need. And we got modify additional firepower. How's my... Okay, I got gill Cerberus. And boom. A little bit of additional firepower that I didn't have last week. real life thing would they possibly even have to rip off well there is that giant uh gundam that japan has that they're finally getting it to where it can walk and such so maybe maybe they're afraid that people will think that gundam is real and you know out to protect humanity from space alien bots i don't freaking uh Okay, well, my guns have more firepower, so maybe I'll be able to zip through this part a little bit quicker. Because I didn't do that last time. Because I didn't notice that modify was a thing until late. So we can get back to the edge. Ah, uh, Deadly Premonition. I've still got to get that. This year, this is the year that I get Deadly Premonition. Ah. Uh, if for no other reason, then I'll be able to justify a purchase of DP2. Well, better justify. I mean, I've seen Deadly Premonition played through twice now. Uh, so I know how it ends. But there's something about playing a game that's significantly different than just watching it. Uh, and sometimes watching can be fun. <laughs> At least I hope. Oh, boy. But being able to get behind the, behind the wheel of a game... Be it a really good game, a really bad game. Oh. Eh. Eh. Turrets. Turrets. If only I had one tequila bomb. Oh, man. Can't help. Okay. DP1 Switch version? There's a Switch version of Deadly Premonition 1? Oh, shit. I've heard really, oh, really mixed things about the PS3 version. I believe that was the one they were playing on on the Super Best Friends playthrough with the, uh, with the pickles at four frames per second. Uh, so obviously that's the one I want. <laughs> Oh, man. Stop motion the pickles. I am so there. Okay. There's got to be a button to crouch. Okay. Bad doggies. Okay. Uh, here we go. High potion. I think I'm going to need that because I'm about to... Okay. Man, if there's a... If there's a hard copy of the Switch version of Deadly Premonition 1, then I am really in... If not, then just the PS3 version. That'll be that'll be that'll be good. Okay. Huh? Oh, there's a thing. I didn't have that last time. Those last time. Oh, a lot of MP back. <laughs> ah, the pickles. I'm going to have to remember that if I ever win the lottery and decide to open my own food business. 
Because I always told myself if I opened uh, my own food distributor business, it'd be leading national foods. <laughs> okay. Hopefully you don't make the stage a little longer with Big Red here. Man, pickles. I like pickles. They have to be salty enough, though. Like, I'm just talking about cucumber pickles. I'm not getting into the fancy shit there. Um, no pickled okra. Okra is just not my thing. I can I can deal with it, but nah. So we're going cucumber pickles. They gotta be salty enough. But it has to actually be pickles as well. None of that, that pickle brine in a bag shit. I, I still remember seeing that on the shelf and I'm like, the hell? No? People just buy pickle juice and chug it. Don't get me wrong. I get there's uses for that. Like electrolytes and shit. But just just don't. <laughs> just just eat pickles. That'd be weird. Weirdos. I'm sure it'd be good for something in cooking though, you know, all all things uh considered. Huh? Where you at? Oh man, this crimson hound is just dying here. Okay. Well, that went much faster. Oh, that makes me a little sad. <laughs> Spinning hologram. Oh, yeah. Each can of the pickles is distributed with a spinning hologram projector. Hell, yeah. Oh, boy. Prop that sucker up in the local Walmart. Uh, we're distributing the pickles. Oh, shit. Uh, card key. That went much faster. Mm. Oh, right. I forgot I was going to skip these because... Time. Alrighty. Oh, the motorcycle segment. And... See if I can get rid of these guys a little bit faster. Hopefully not just get rolled over by them this time. Oh, boy. Oh, out of the way. Uh. Okay. Man. Oh. So... Back a little bit on topic with this game, not not like too directly because you know it's kind of my bit. So Steve Bloom, uh, on my off time, I wanted to see how well my laptop could handle Batman: Arkham Asylum because I didn't really get this thing so much for gaming. And um, yeah, I forgot that Steve Bloom is in that game. I don't know how many characters he voices, but there's this lab guy or nah, what is he? It's in the asylum. So one of the asylum hands, he opens his mouth, and I'm like, that's so Steve Bloom. It's like, good to know. I really do like Steve Bloom's voice work. But he's, it's like, instant lock on there. He's everywhere, man! Okay. Captain ranking. Hey, okay, that works for me. 30 out of 70 hounds defeated. I'm assuming those numbers would go up. I defeated more of those ones running with the turret. Sooner or later, I'm, I'm going to have to actually look up his IMDB page. I've only got 29.50 gil. Ah. Okay, anything else I can really boost the barrels or, or a thing? Okay, I can only get one of those. Got the normal and long barrel equipped. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I want to say I remember a long barrel portion being up in this next level, so let's let's go long barrel. Ah, oh boy. Uh. Let's buy some potions as well. Uh, ether. I don't have any, and I don't have any money. And we're topped off as much as I care to... Oh, sniper scope? Eh. We're topped off as much as I care to do. Ugh, trying to blitz back to progress. And we're back to the edge. 
Arkham Asylum. I've never played Arkham Knight. I've seen, I saw one playthrough of it. Don't remember anything about it. I've got a coworker who's hyping that game up because he just got himself an Xbox One. I don't think he got the X. I think he got like the standard one. Um, I'm like, oh, what the hell? Oh, jukeboxes or shops? What? Eh, I'll take it. He's really enthusiastic about that game. In the meantime, he's also got Doom, and I'm telling him, dude, do it. Do it. Right now. Arkham Knight. Ended up getting bored. Yeah, there's a lot of grindy content in there. There's a lot of filler uh, stuff in there. Those games, I play them. I, I, the moment I detect filler crap, I check right the hell back out and go find the main quest. Because you get in that filler stuff, those games become a the, the worst slog. They are so bad about that. I, I cannot stand the filler inside content stuff. Um... So it's it's like they're they're they got a great setting. I like the story for the most part, but they're not the kind of games I can normally recommend full price. Oh, skip this guy real quick. Never finished any of them. Only played City Origins and Night. I think of what I've seen, I really like Arkham Asylum the most. Arkham City, that's when that's when they start getting really into the, the filler crap, because you've got like that whole chunk of the city to go wandering around and sprawling, and they gotta put something in it in there. Obviously Arkham Knight, same deal, but you have the Batmobile. Um I played a chunk of Arkham Origins and dropped out completely after the uh fight with um oh boy, Deathstroke. The first fight with him. I don't know if there's any later ones. I'll say the first fight. Um, but I checked right the hell out of that game. Which is sad because they had a different Batman voice in there. And he's pretty good. What's his name? Robin Atkin Downs, I think. But Asylum was a much more, I think, tightly... Um, it was a more tightly uh, wound affair. Is, is a little bit... Bleh! Don't do words. It's definitely cozy. Oh, Asylum. Okay. Moving around as Joker while Batman's stuck in restraints. I don't remember that portion. Ooh. There's some... Oh, there's some def definitely some nightmare stuff, though, in the... Arkham games. I remember uh, Scarecrow showing up, sort of. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's get in here, see what I've got pathwise. Did I get blocked out here? Oh, spoiled? No worries, because like I said, I've actually beaten that one before. I've just forgotten a good chunk of it. Okay, is there like a door here that I'm missing or forgetting? Hmm. I feel like there's a bit of backtracking I need to do. Uh, let's let's try and at least activate that thing. I'm doing I'm doing the dumb. Sometimes you just activate a, a wall and it is secretly a door. And ah, guess not. The killer croc fight in Arkham Asylum was actually kind of tense. Is a Move slowly across the platforms and hope he doesn't murder the shit out of you. It's a significant change of pace from the rest of the game. I really kind of got behind that. Okay. Huh? Eh, map, map, go away. Okay. Uh. I can't manage maps somehow. Uh, oh. Let's see if I can save a bullet. Ah, there we go. Save a bullet or two. Uh, switch to potions so I can grab this new one. Yeah. Alright, make sure I'm heading the right way now. 
Uh, back to map. Oh, right. I missed this entirely. I forgot about it. Okay. I also recently got through watching the Christopher Nolan movie Tenet. N don't get me wrong. I really like that movie, but um, I can't help but feel there's a bit of formula showing now. Ooh, Hydra. Equip this item by something something customize. Uh, rifle type. Improved accuracy firing at distant targets. Which, if I remember right, comes up pretty soon. Um, let's see, how to elaborate on that uh, formula thing. For one, he does that thing where conversations will share a line where it'll jump between two totally different scenes with an interlinking line that they say the same between two different conversations. Uh, he does that a lot, which I like. It's a cool um, transition thing. The series Archer does it, but it's like... Don't do it too much. People are going to start seeing it coming. Um, and there's always someone who's like a secret something in all of his movies. There's a lot of secrets that are just pointed out at the way beginning almost every time. Almost every time. Um, Batman. You had um, Liam Neeson as the secret baddie. The whole time. Um, okay, I am feeling like a shit if I get into the spoilers. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, some of them have been out a little while, so I'll stop at Inception. Uh, yeah, the old men were secretly just in the dream the whole time. And then there's um, a little bit in Interstellar and Tenet, which I'm not going to spoil those two since they're a bit more recent. But uh, yeah, it's kind of getting to the point where it's like, dude... Your your gimmicks are starting to show, but you know I I I complain a little bit, and I will say that for the rest of it, though it's it's at least kind of cool to have a director who doesn't entirely assume that his viewers are brain dead. Let's see Cerberus go Hydra. Wait, what was the power on Cerberus? Oh, Cerberus goes down a little bit. Because his movies do kind of require you to pay attention, so I, I can appreciate that at least. Long Barrel 2. Also, Nolan, dubstep. Cut it out. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Ah. Headshot. Oh, this is going a little bit more smoothly. Uh, where is... Okay, there's one there on the... He didn't even see me yet. Okay, seems like there was something else's. Um, oh, there's a guy over this way. Where you at? Where you at? So that I can stop you being at it. Huh? Eh. I can't help but wonder what it would be like if Christopher Nolan and Michael Bay joined forces. I was kind of thinking of that part of the way through uh, Tenet. Because, you know... Explosions are, are fun, un until they're like 90% of your content. But, you know, Hollywood, they got they gotta have explosions. Or else it's, it's not a movie. So, uh, oh shit, uh, okay, who's the wise guy? I'm mad at you. You're not a sniper, you're just some dude. Don't be a butt. Okay, Phoenix down. What? Small child, get out of this war zone. What the hell's wrong with you? Get in there. The hell? I mean, I'll take it. Hold that thought for a moment. Oh, hello. Well, yeah, Michael Bay is goofy as he is. I can't help but think that, you know, if he and uh, Nolan joined forces, it'd just be like a movie about, like, explosions from another dimension 
trying to start a war with humanity or some shit just so he'd have more excuse to dump gasoline. Michael Caine would have been fighting them his whole life. He's like, explosions killed his dad. And he's gone on a crusade to find the king of explosions and snuff him out once and for all. Turns out he's like the inventor of the fire extinguisher. I have like a whole movie of dudes running around with like super soakers trying to put fires out. Small child! Huh? I mean, I'd still watch the movie, but let's face it, I'd feel dirty about it. <laughs> I'd feel terrible. Okay, okay, there was a... I missed where the kid was, I heard the kid. Damn it. Uh... Small child, reveal yourself! <laughs> Sacrifice himself before the first explosion, yeah. You can see it now. Idris Elba is secretly an explosion the whole time. Because why not? Uh, thanks. Oh boy. We have this Kingdom Hearts in NPC. I, I know how to get there. It's through that gate. Come on. I know someone who does. Follow me. And look at that kid's hat. You know he's also a paper boy in his downtime. Only paper boys can rock a hat like that. Okay, try not to shoot the kid. That would be embarrassing. Eh? Absolutely a Kingdom Hearts NPC right here. Okay. Yes, child. Shamble slowly in the direction of... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that that is... That's not great. Great, watching a child get mauled by some sort of horrible monster dog. That's... That's... Oh, boy. It's like too real, game. Oh, there's the crouch button. Get in there. Get in there. I have to fight off another one of these okay. damn dogs. Ooh, okay, grab a thing. It's called money. Yeah, go upstairs. Also, real quick, switch uh, weapons for a moment. Uh, customize from Hydra to... Okay, Griffin is machine gun, since I'm in kind of close quarters. I don't really have a shotgun, I don't think. Handgun. Let's go Cerberus for the moment. Okay. Yay, escort missions. That's what I signed up to Final Fantasy for. <laughs> oh, boy. So while this is dragging along. Um, yeah, so Sony is uh, winding down, their words, not mine, one of their oldest first-party studios. Okay, so you'll probably know this better than them better than I do, because I tend to forget these things um, really badly for some reason. Um, who is it? Sony's Japan Studio, I believe, is what they're they're actually named. And they are not... What it is is Sony's not renewing their contracts for the next fiscal year, which starts in April. Ah, son of a bitch! Did I shoot the kid? Okay. I hope I did not just shoot the kid. That'd be really bad. 
So April 1st, a lot of those people aren't going to have jobs in Japan Studio. They may have jobs elsewhere. I'm not really sure on that one. And they're, they're keeping a... I think I typoed it. I think it's a Sobi team. I have it typed down as Adobe team, but that doesn't seem right. Uh, these guys... Oh. Oh, boy. Snipers! That's a little better. They're responsible for a large amount of stuff that I recognize, most of which I haven't played, admittedly, but all of it that I've been interested in. And what I've got typed, I think, came from... Uh, Legend of Dragoon. Uh, I want to say that was on the list. I don't remember it being on there, but it sounds right. Uh... Sit and stay! So what I've got, though, they, they either developed or had a strong hand in Parappa the Rapper, Ark the Lad, Alundra, Ape Escape. They helped with Demon Souls, Sky Gunner, one that I really want a copy of, Patapon, Wild Arms, and apparently helped with Bloodborne. So, and Sony is dumping this uh, studio. They're keeping the, the team that's responsible for Astro's Playroom. Oh boy, that's not good. A uh, sniper. Oh, I do not need to be... I do not need to be on the receiving end of sniper attacks. Go, small child, go! Get in the door. It's almost like the company's losing a piece of its soul burning that country, uh, that company. It, it makes me kind of sad. The the is Watch your back. That kid not coming in? What, what are you doing, kid? Come on. Because uh. it's like that, con that company has... Uh, that, that studio has done so much work for Sony... So many really immensely recognizable things, but they, the list just kind of petered out. Um, toward around 2013, um, Sony has apparently been consolidating their power here in the West in, instead of in Japan, which personally I don't think is a good idea. It's like, who went to Sony for Western games? Who, who went to Sony for, like, the stuff we get here in the States? Sony's always been such a... They've been, like, the most Japanese-ass company. Okay. I should have that card key, I would think, but... I don't know. And it seems a shame to lose that company. Okay, I'm assuming I don't have that card key, so let's let's do this. So I either missed something or that kid led me in a big stupid circle. Yeah, Sky Gunner, it is it is absolutely a pricey, pricey title. Oh shit. I've actually looked that one up out of personal interest, because I really want that game. But damn is it is it steep most of the time. Oh, there's Cloud. Sort of. I guess. Let you through. Right. Thanks, kid. Avenge. I couldn't shoot. Mom and Dad. Right? But I I couldn't move. I was too scared. But, but... Please! Please! Help me avenge their death! That sounds like a thing a kid would say.
That being said, though, some real bad shit. That kid actually saw his parents die when we have all this disappearance stuff going on in this town. And this kid actually got to see his parents die. It's like, man, does that suck. Alright. And... Really love that map overlay. That needs to be a thing in more games. Ah, the little lightsaber's wound down. Okay. Ah, probably need to make sure I'm switched to the right gun. Oh, machine gun bullets. I'll take that as a hint. Hydra. Switch to Griffin. Oh, boy. The sleep perchance to die. Oh, man. So maybe that kid's n not a... Uh, Edge Square Park. What? Maybe that kid's not a Kingdom Hearts protagonist, because people don't die in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Kingdom Hearts NPC, I meant to say. Okay. Nobody dies in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, one moment. Okay, I'm gonna blame Steam for the frame drops there. I don't know. I closed out Steam. I don't... I had that on. I thought I turned that off. Ah, uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, thanks for the heads up there. I'm trying to keep an eye on that, but... I'm not always as quick on the draw as I'd like to be. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Please tell me there's a checkpoint. I don't have to go through all that shit. Oh, boy. I seem to remember that question of checkpoints being answered before. Oh no! Oh wait, no, we got as far as the as the kid. Let's see, customize, pull out Griffin real quick. I'll stand back a little bit while bad dog Thanks. man dog monster thing. Oh uh, boy. I need to look into how to unlock things in the model viewer. This game has that model viewer thing, and I'm like... Grab that. Money. And I'm... Oh. And welcome back, Alaskan Emily. To, uh... The third day of the edgiest Final Fantasy game th that I know of. There's almost certainly an edgier one. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't no Final Fantasy expert. Well, I'm going to take a quick step back and look at that. Uh, who's this? I can't. That's that's too blurry. I was hoping to read that. Ah! Eh. Okay, that's, that's not normal. Eh. Use a kid to protect Vincent's delicate ribs from the horrors of a ladder. Owning Dark Souls on uh, 360, do they have internet? Any intention making that a Wednesday game? I would kind of like to get all three of those games at some point, and if that were the case, then yeah, I'd be, I'd be down for that. Where's the kid? Come on, kid. Cause I'm, I'm really, what little I played of the first Dark Souls game, I felt really bad. I made that mistake of, um, oh god, you get, you get to that first main. Uh, shrine or whatever. I made the mistake of going the wrong way that's not into the town that's like back to the graveyard and fighting the skeletons. I spent easily an hour just fighting skeletons that were just wrecking my ass. 
So, I hear that's a fairly common mistake. And I kind of hope that's true, because if, if not, I'd feel like a real dummy. But I would like to play those games, because... I mean, A, from software. And, oh, hello. And B, um, a game to teach me patience. I mean, let's face it, I'm kind of slow at games anyway, so slow with, for a reason, just seems like my kind of deal. Just, just not as slow as I was at Oddworld. A little faster than that. Hmm. Oh, man. Yes, kid, I'm like four to six feet away. You can keep walking. Your your paper route will not be interrupted. Ah, bad dogs! It, I, I stand corrected. There are, there are some interruptions. Interruptions are, are handled. Thank you. Thanks. Ah, Dark Souls. Alright. What's the button for reload? Oh, that was not intentional. I didn't want to waste that magic. Go! Wait, no, this kid can't be a Kingdom Hearts NPC. Look at his feet! They're not gigantic enough. He's not wearing clown shoes. What are you doing, kid? Why are you... Oh, snipers! No! Cerberus out to... Hydro is a sniper one, I think. Wait, no. What barrel have I got? Normal, long. Or was it? No, yeah, this is the right gun. Okay. Make sure I'm switching to the right. What the? Wait, I don't have the sniper scope equipped? Come on. Some mistakes were made. Okay. I'm trying to remember the name of that Dark Souls uh, fan cartoon. There's a fan cartoon for Dark Souls 2 that is like a classic. I want to say it was um, Happy Souls was the name of it. Based on Dark Souls 2, just shenanigans in that world. I have to rewatch that sometime. Oh, wait, no, I saw this cutscene. Ah, skipping through cutscenes. Okay. Skipping through cutscenes I've already seen. There we go. Happy souls, yeah. Okay. Customize. Switch back to Griffin. And let's, let's do... Oh, the speed goes way up there, but the power drops like a rock. Nah. Why is the power so far down? Hmm. Thunderfighter. What's the... Some things got unequipped somehow. I don't know how they got unequipped. Okay. Okay, so while these guys are waiting to pop out... Oh, no. It's after the door's open. So we got that Snyder Cut coming up soon. And apparently, they thought it was a bright idea to do a black and white version... And, uh, yeah, that's, um... Ah, come on, just stop, stop, sit down. <sighs> okay, there are a lot of movies that are, that are w really good black and white films. I don't see the Snyder Cut, no matter how good the, the work actually winds up being, being so much better in black and white. That just doesn't... The idea of a superhero movie in black and white doesn't seem like a thing. Um, they said they're going to be debuting the original color version on uh, HBO Max first, I think. And uh, then after that, it's onward to uh, releasing the black and white one later. Oh, that guy went down like a sack of potatoes. To make a black and white movie, though, for the most part, you kind of have to to shoot for black and white. You have to have... You have to have your scenes properly lit and such for that, or else it's gonna look... It's gonna look like shit. And, uh... 
their their effects team is going to have even more work cut out for them than having everything but the actor's faces and at least in Cavill's face part part of his face CG'd over. I'm like Okay, come on. Oh, this is this is an accurate gun. Ah, <laughs> uh, this frame is not the the best for accuracy. Who wants a machine gun for accuracy? Uh, the Justice is Gray edition, I believe, is what they called it. Ugh. Come on. Oh boy. That was probably a little bit overkill. Oh, okay, rifle bullets. Ah, down. It's kind of part of my mindset, though. I hear something that dumb, and I kind of... It's like... How to put it? It's like my mindset is almost always, that sounds stupid and pointless. I want in. I don't know why. It's it's not good. It, it encourages these people to keep making bad works because they know some asshole's going to watch it. And I have to be that asshole. Oh. One of these bullets will hit you eventually. You didn't need those legs, did you? Come on. Your bikini armor won't save you. Not quite bikini armor, but still, the legless thing, it's like... Super armored leg bands. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see, map. Okay. Okay, who's the asshole now? Who's the wise guy? I don't need to get shot by more dudes. Oh, man, he's even got the Batman cape. Oh, oh, he's over here. I see him. I see him. Cut that whack-a-mole crap out. The butt. Alright, heals would be cool. Let's see, how well will your leg armor save you? It didn't. Spoilers! Bad idea. It's always a bad idea. And now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Uh, come on. One of these bullets someday. I'm starting to think this this gun frame might not be the best idea for. I need to uh, adjust this setup. And pretentious subtitles like that's gonna save the Justice League. I I need to see the original movie though. I'm kind of behind on those. I still haven't seen Aquaman, Wonder Woman, half those films. Okay. Uh-huh. I feel like I need to get caught up on those before I pass judgment on this turkey. But they are so desperate over at DC to build a franchise. I'm like, okay. Start with making them good and go from there. Avengers Endgame. That is one of the very few movies that I've seen in theaters in my adult life. I saw that like a month after it came to theaters. Love that movie. Plot holes and all. Because it's like they, they just could not settle on on a time travel theory, but whatever. I'm not I'm not too hurt about that one. Oh boy. That could be very bad. Let's not get too near that. Oh, boy. Hey, uh, you're supposed to stay down when I kick at you, when I wave my pointy to... That would hurt to be kicked by these shoes. I mean, holy crap. You know, like, chisel ice sculptures with his pointy shoes. I am all for this. Oh, boy. Huh? You good? No, he's not done. Did. Avengers Endgame. Uh, worth it for Chunky Thor alone. It's like, now I want that movie. And with that recent uh, Instagram thing, it's like, if they do that movie, it's like, come on, put Jack Black in that role. <laughs> oh, man. He's shown he has the credentials. Oh, shit. 
in case you're wondering what I'm rambling about, there's a... Oh, shit. Oh, boy. They're, these guys are getting oh, vicious. Guys and gals. Uh, so there's a recent video that Jack Black posted to Immigrant's song, him holding Thor's hammer and gyrating and wearing a red Speedo, and that's about it. And that's pretty much the video. It's like, when we get in this Marvel Cinematic Universe? <laughs> oh, boy. Not like, not even ten minutes ago I was saying, don't encourage the bads. I'm like, Here, here's a bad I'll encourage. Give me it. Ah. Darn it. I mean, he couldn't be any worse a Thor than he would have been a Green Lantern, so... <laughs> Come on, game! I'm taking a lot of bullets. Okay, customize. Where's my... Okay, power range, weight, speed. Okay, this is not... This is not working somehow. Cerberus? Okay, speed goes down. So let's, let's duck back to Cerberus. Oh, man. What is that? I don't want to be standing near that. Should bullets start happening? That guy didn't want to be standing near it either. Some asshole in a cape might come by and shoot him. Oh. Oh, boy. Uh, who's, who's still shooting? Where are you at? Oh, hello. Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Okay. Shop by potions. I'm... Oh, I had three potions? Why wasn't I informed? Oh, boy. I can use more gill now. Uh, if I can remember to, I need to grind in this game. I seem to remember grinding actually being a thing, which is not something I would have expected, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, we gonna meet Rosso? Oh no, just this asshole. Are you kidding, guy? When JoJo's met Tekken Force? Okay, that's a, that's a little more, uh, concerning. Okay, uh... Okay. Uh, magic? Okay. Um, okay, that guy is armored as all hell, and I- oh shit. Uh, there's a lot of dudes in here. I think I might need to thin the herds out. Who, who's, who else is in here? Who's being a butt? Uh, oh. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes in here. There's a lot of fire. Is it even possible to thin all these guys out? Okay, a little more magic, and I think I'm... Oh, I think I might be out of uh, magic. Yep, I'm out. Okay, upstairs. Huh? They're out. Okay, now, okay. Just you and me going rounds, and me discharging rounds. I know I could have handled that better. That's that's the kind of thing that it's like I like it when a game feels like that. When I feel that I a game could push me forward, that I could just do better at the game. I like I see that there's room to improve. I kind of like this that. This is the first time I've ever felt the rain on my skin. What? But 
them again. I hadn't even seen this guy until a few days ago. It's because that's a way you can tell you're interested. Lady, you're my kind of weird. So you're Vincent Valentine. Keeper of the Proto Materia. Proto Materia. Yes, the key to controlling Omega. Yes. We know you have it. Hand it over now, and I'll kill you quick. You're not offering much incentive, lady. <laughs> not one to bargain, are we? Then I'll make sure you suffer. Time to die. If I didn't know any better by that comment, I'd... Oh. Okay. Cutscene Dante. Yeah, I was just coming to that conclusion. <laughs> uh, it's like, play enough of this game and you too could be this stylish. Okay. And she pulled his devil trigger. Gotcha. Oh, man. Zero. <sighs> and then he reverts. Great. Great job, game. That's a perfect opportunity to to do things, and then he just, just takes a nap. <sighs> Great, Vincent. One one fart blast to to knock out the next big bad, and then you just you just out like a light. Good job, good job. Thank you, Vincent, for your time and effort. Okay, that's a, re a redesign of Chaos, his final limit form. Okay, because I never got to see that during uh, my play on account of I am kind of bad at that game, but hey. <laughs> oh, I read that that was a thing in there. I never got to actually see it during gameplay. Oh, boy, I do feel like I need to see if I can try and grind on here. Okay. Okay. And yeah, it is five o'clock. Okay, let's see. One moment. It's like potions. I'll buy those after modifications. Let's see what I can even modify. Ah, bring up Hydra one. Whoop. Boost that range. And now it's. Hmm. Well, I have one potion. They drop like kind of a lot. So let's let's do high potion real quick. Okay, is there anything worth selling here? Uh, nah. Next time I play in my off time? Yeah, I hope so. Okay. So I'm not going to let this next cutscene play out because I want to see this next week. Uh, and I want to spoil that for myself. I mean, it's it's basically the next time on Dirge of Cerberus thing, so I don't know why I'm skipping it entirely. I don't know, I'm just being a dumbass. Ah, quit. Get out of the back to tank. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Alrighty, you go on ahead and uh, take care of business, and I'm going to be seeing if I can set up a raid here real quick. Because I actually have my tablet working, and I have my phone here, and so I can sort of multitask. 
Um, albeit maybe poorly. Okay. Here we go. And save. All right. Ah, come on. I'm mainly doing this more more than anything just so I can get better at it because I'm I'm not good at it. Uh Let's see. And I need to learn the UI for the Twitch app. Uh Come on. All right. I'm almost there, I think. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Huh? Stream info. Eh. Ah, well. I'll figure it out sometime. Yeah, start the stream and end it. Just bookend everything with tech support stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pop out because I want to look this Twitch app business up because I'm not used to using it on the phone. So n next time, I will be back on Wednesday. I am going to start... What's it? I said the name of it. <laughs> can't do buttons, can't do words. What's my brain doing? Did I really push the crayon that far up there? Damn it. Bionic Commando Rearmed. There we go. So, Wednesday. I will be back Wednesday with Bionic Commando Rearmed. Saturday with Robot Alchemic Drive. And Sunday, come back to a little bit more Final Fantasy Dirge of Cerberus. Thanks again, one and all, for stopping by to another round of me not knowing what the hell I'm doing. And <laughs> I'll eventually learn things. I'm... Piecing it, to, piecing it together just a little bit at a time. So, Navigator EX here. And I will see you when I see you. Take it easy, party people. And... Yeah. Here we go. See you around. Hmm?